everybody, what is going on? It's Brian with you from the Game Covenant. We are playing some Civilization 6. We're playing the brand new Rise and Fall update that came out yesterday. Uh, last night, I had a chance to live stream a little bit and we hopped into Rise and Fall and had some fun with it uh, and really got to learn a bunch of the new mechanics. If you're new and you hadn't been paying attention at all to Rise and Fall, it adds like six or seven new civilizations. It adds a bunch of new wonders, a couple buildings, some brand new units. And so far, everything I've seen with it, it seems like it's a lot of fun. And that's one thing I have to say about Firaxis and their civilization updates. Like, I remember DLC for uh, um, Civ 5, I remember for Civ 4, like the actual expansions for the game. They really changed gameplay and made the game a lot of fun. So, well, I'm really excited to actually start our YouTube series for it. One thing I should note is if we go to additional content, I do have all my mods disabled right now. Um, one thing that I noticed right away as soon as I tried launching the game yesterday is it basically broke all of my mods, which also actually means that my autoplay is broke. So if you're wondering what happened to my last AI series, we were trying to like basically sim it to the end of the game because, oh my gosh, it got really boring there because no one was attacking each other. And I can't really actually autoplay it and finish that game until they fix my mods. So we're putting that one on pause for now. We'll start a rise and fall autoplay here in a couple days, if not today. But anyways, let's go ahead and hop into single player. Let's create a brand new game and we're going to go advanced setup. So like I said, there's a bunch of new leaders. Um, I'm gonna butcher names. I've been practicing all morning. I've been like watching the official Civ stuff, but I'm probably still gonna butcher it. Uh, but we have Chan Grupa, who is a more warlike Indian leader. So um, you can see that you, he can declare war of territorial expansion after gaining military training civic and blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna just point him out. I don't think I'm gonna read every single thing for all of the guys, just because I think that's gonna take too much time and I kinda wanna hop into the game. We also also have Genghis Kong, uh, who's really good with uh, 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 art, uh, horses and horse archers. So uh, let's see who else do we have that's brand new. <laughs> hey, you're disabled right now. What the heck? Um, we have uh, Lataro, who we're actually going to be playing as uh, in the Mapuche. Um, but basically, so if a Mapuche unit defeats an enemy unit within the borders of the enemy city, that city loses 20 loyalty. So loyalty is a brand new mechanic where essentially your cities can flip from you or to you uh, if their loyalty is high or low enough. So uh, we're going to actually try flipping as many cities as possible using loyalty. So I think that's going to be pretty interesting. Also, all units trained in cities with established governors gain more experience in combat and they get plus 10 combat strength uh, against civs that are in golden ages, which is interesting. Uh, then he gets to unlock the builder ability to construct a, the Kamal, uh, which is unique which provides culture additional tourism after researching flight and then the mapuche uh, unique renaissance unit is the malone raider which gives plus combat strength bonus if within four hexes of friendly territory and pillaging costs one movement so we're going to be going with a cultural slash warlike uh victory uh with him and we're going to have to see whether or not we tr end up with domination or with uh with the culture victory so we're, that's what we're going to be trying i hadn't actually done a culture victory since my first playthrough of civ 6 so i think that'll be interesting we also had Poundmaker, who if you want to see more of him, we played as him last night. He is really, really powerful early game, um, but I think he might fall behind later in the game. But uh, his unique unit essentially replaces uh, the Scout, and it, essentially it's as strong as a Warrior, which is kind of nice. It just it doesn't uh, exert its under control. We also have Robert the Bruce, who is for Scotland, which a lot of people have been apparently playing as Scotland. Um, then we have Korea and uh, Sion... Da Sion? I'm um, nah, I can't even say her name, uh, but she gets culture and science. Apparently she might be a little OP. We also have Shaka who may foreign core or armies earlier. Additional five basic combat strength to both of them. He might be interesting and fun to play as. Um, we have Tamer who gets 100% faith, but we don't really want to go with the faith victory at this point. And then Wilhelm, uh, who is for the Netherlands and your trade routes give cities. Okay, so um, we're gonna bump up our difficulty. So I've been debating about what difficulty level to do. I debated about actually going all the way to deity, but I actually saw another YouTuber, someone commented, hey, uh, I would like you to play lower difficulty so we can actually see uh, more of the new stuff and the new buildings instead of saying, hey, I can't build that because we're on higher difficulty. Um, so I still think I wanna try Immortal because our last playthrough we played uh, Emperor and we kind of ran away with it as the game went on. So I think we're gonna gonna do 
I did continents last night. I think I have to do Pangea just so I can make sure that there are actual other uh, sieves near me. Last night, we kind of found ourselves um, by ourselves, and it kind of um, was depressing. So I should actually select leaders here. That would be important. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to select the Taro, and then let's go ahead and grab all of the brand new ones. And actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to change any of these settings. I'm just going to put a pause in the video here. I'm going to throw in all of the brand new leaders. And we're just going to play with Rise and Fall sieves, and then I'm going to launch the game, and I'll pop back in as soon as all that's loaded. So, I'll see you in a sec. So, I was actually incorrect. There's actually nine new sieves, so there you go. So, we're going to begin game. Uh, we are not going to actually reload. I like the fact that we're starting on the river, although we don't really have any decent resources near us. We do have quite a few mountains, um, which is going to provide us quite a bit of production. We may be suffering uh, when it comes to food, but I still think this is going to be an okay start for us. Oh, we also have the mountains, which is going to be really good for us to grab science. So, uh, first thing, I've actually paid a little bit of attention to higher build orders and exactly, hey, this is what you should do um, when you're playing on like deity and difficulties that are super high level. Um, so normally everyone says, hey, pop out as many slingers as possible, um, but there is some thoughts to still grabbing a scout first, just so you can find the goody huts and you can kind of grab different continents and stuff like that. So I still think I want to grab that. We do kind of want to rush in to get to archery as quick as possible, so we will go with animal husbandry. The whole point with grabbing, I think, the 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 slinger first is so you can actually potentially get the boost for uh, archery as soon as possible. We will go ahead and start sending out our warrior, and we might actually be on the coast. Interesting. Does that mean we should have moved? Nah, because I'd still rather be on the river, especially with our capital. Oh, this is another thing they added. They added in the reef, which I don't think you can actually build on. Let's see. Reef. So, reefs benefit from it beneath the surface of open water and serve as speed bumps for ship. Oh, so it actually slows them down, perhaps? I don't know. Uh, the other thing I wanted to look at real quick is let's look at the Mapuche. And um, I wanted to check your unit is actually in the Renaissance era. Okay, so we have a little bit of time before we get there. Uh, but I wanted to look at their building again. So, it provides culture equal to 75% of the tiles appeal. Additional tourism after researching flight. Minimum appeal of breathtaking. Okay, so do we have any tourism? It's not tourism, it's appeal. So we, we actually have pretty crappy appeal, ironically. Why is this bad? Oh, it's because it's rainforest everywhere. Hmm, okay. Well, all right. We may not get to use his new building much, if at all, here to begin with, but that'll be okay. Um, let's keep sending you out this direction. I want to take you down that way. We will get the sense, uh, we'll start sending the scout up here. I'm hoping we're not completely surrounded by the AI because that's gonna, you know, make the beginning of the game really fun. Especially around turn 30 when I have like 10 people declare war on me, but we'll see. We'll see how it actually happens. Uh, we'll keep sending you there. We have a lot of freaking mountains here. This is gonna be slow going to begin with. And of course we freaking find a scout right away and we'll send you out that way. And then we're gonna immediately start popping out slingers. Um, I will bring you here, and then I'll probably bring you back, because I'm sure he's going to see me and actually probably spawn the barbarians at me. Uh, no, actually not. Interesting. So we're trying to basically keep him from being alerted. I'm gonna send you oh, never mind, we found an encampment this way too! Alrighty then! <laughs> well, this is going to be a fun early game for us. Let's see, I think I'd rather go here. Unfortunately, I can't actually ch um, track him down. Now, what's funny is playing as Poundmaker. Oh my god, your scouts were so powerful early level. I love it. Um, we actually do want to get in here and probably get to the horse. Actually, if we get up on the mountains, it might be good. But I want to knock out his... Um, if we can destroy this encampment early on, I'm going to feel really happy about life. So we'll go ahead and attack you. We did lose more HP than he lost, but that's okay. Um... I'm just trying to keep him away and hurt him, essentially. We do have a slinger popping out in two turns, too, so that's the other thing. We may want to use that slinger to kill this guy. We may also want to use the slinger over here, because we want to get the boost for archery, so... Ow, that hurt. That's okay. We're going to send our archer down here pretty quickly, and we're going to be in a good spot. If there are no dogs in Now, is this the scout for this encampment? That actually might be the case. Now, if we attack him again, we're going to be a little too hurt. So I think let's just go ahead and start healing you up as of now. 
We're gonna bring you down there. We're gonna bring you over there. Um, we're gonna start popping out more slingers because we want to get about three slingers or so, and then that's gonna allow us to conquer any city state, pretty much any city at that point. Um, we're just gonna keep bringing you down. Ooh, we did find a goodie hut. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think the barbarians grab goodie huts, right? In that case, we probably want to just forget the scout and go for the goodie hut. I could actually. I think we're going to go chase him down instead. I think we're going to try something like this for now. And if I can kill his scout, I feel pretty confident about life. Oh, that's awkward. Well, then. Well, I need the goody hut, but I might want to kill the guy. Okay, so the city state's not going to grab the goody hut. So let's kill you first. Okay. Let's bring you over here. And ironically, he's probably going to hurt me more than I'm going to hurt him because we'd be crossing the water. Um, we met Geneva. Sounds good. Uh, they want to send a trader out. And we earned an envoy there because we were the first Civ. Oh, one thing I should note that's new is we actually have a history timeline. So as you experience historical moments... It is not um, wisdom. Code of laws, cool. As you get historical moments, you start filling up this bar here, and you need at least 12 historical moments to avoid a dark age. Um, and then you need 24 historical moments to actually get a golden age. And essentially, you get to make dedications at the beginning of each era, and uh, the if you're in a golden age, you get to make, like, what, two or three? I think it's two dedications, where dark ages, you don't really... But dark ages do give you really powerful government um, policies, which is nice. And the thing is, dark ages aren't necessarily bad because you start with a dark age uh, um, and you get the bonuses but then the other thing that happens is if you trigger a golden age uh, out of a dark age you get I forgot what it's called but it's like even better than a golden age so sometimes it's not um, bad to actually go with the dark age early on we just grabbed another scout okay then we also found Carthage I'm gonna send you up this way because I have too many guys down here let's bring you over here and I want this guy to die, but I want to be able to kill him. So, oh, the other thing I should note is certain things will give you more than one uh, era score. Uh, so this one gave us one villagers bring gifts as they join our civilization. Sometimes clearing like a barbarian encampment might get you like two or three or something like that. So we also want to pick up our next culture. So we will grab our, I guess, our unique uh, improvement. We're not going to be able to improve three tiles. And we didn't really get foreign trade yet. Yet. Did we? I mean, I know we didn't because we didn't get boosted. Yeah, it still all looks... Yeah. But surely, surely... Surely we're going to get a second continent here pretty quick. So actually, I'm going to go shoot for that one instead. Um, we also got new government policies. So let's go ahead and grab the barbarians. Let's grab production. Let's confirm. Yes, thank you. Um, so we got one era score. We met representatives of Carthage. And we were not the first one to meet them. No, so someone else actually met Carthage already. But we were the first to meet Geneva. So Carthage is probably going to be someone that we're going to want to declare war on pretty early on. Now, we could kill him. Uh, I really need to kill him with my slingers, which is really depressing. Actually, I may try locking this guy down. And try killing this guy with my slinger. That's okay. And then let's grab a third slinger. And we're going to try getting those to archers, but I really need... Uh, actually, you know what? We're already going towards archery, and if we get the boost, we will actually finish the tech. So because of that, let's go ahead and switch over to pottery. Yep, there we got our boost towards foreign trade, which is what I wanted. Um, as for my actual scout, I think let's keep sending you down. I think that's okay. We got another slinger. We're going to send you out over in this direction, just because I want to explore a little bit more. We discovered a new continent, and we're naming it Asia. What was our continent, by the way? Uh, Colombia. All right, there you go. So he did not actually kill this guy. However, what I can do is easily murder this guy. Now, the thing is... I probably should have killed him so I could actually take the goodie hut and get the gold, but I really needed that archery boost. Did we actually finish it? No, we still are two turns away, so let's actually pop back over there and finish archery. Because I need to be able to afford um, 
to improve all our slingers. We have two slingers incoming. Now here's the thing. Will you immediately switch to an archer? Actually, no, I'm gonna keep you here. I'm gonna keep you there so we can immediately upgrade you and we're probably gonna go straight against Carthage here pretty early on. It's a tech boost archery. Uh, that's fine, let's go next turn. We have a scout unit that's available for promotion. Cool. Um, we got another goodie hut and we found another friendly village tribe. All right, let's go move you down here. Let's move you down here. All right, and you, we're gonna bring back home so we can upgrade you. I'm gonna move you over here because we're gonna put you near Carthage because we're gonna declare an early war on Carthage. And let's come up here. And I can't really do anything right now, so we're gonna skip turn with you. And now we're about to be able to upgrade to archers. We do actually have enough air. money. I should actually probably buy a builder, but I wanted to make sure I had enough money for this. So that was 130 gold. How much is it? It's 45 gold, so it's not super expensive. So we need to save uh, 45 gold, which means we should actually have enough at this point to buy a builder. No, builders are 200, okay. Never mind. I'm gonna put you over in this direction anyways, and we're gonna go settle near Carthage. Um, I also do need to get a second city down pretty quick, and we actually have the coast up here, so that's probably where we're gonna wanna go. Uh, Pottery? Pottery, are we boosted? Pottery doesn't have a boost. Okay, that's gonna give me more opportunity to grab some of these. We've not actually met another civ yet, which I'm a little surprised with being on Pangea. Let's keep sending you out. Um, and you know what? I think I'm gonna promote you on hill terrain. I should promote you a while ago, and then let's send you probably an automatic at this point. I don't know. I don't think it's that. Let's actually just heal you here. That's fine. Let's get you going up here. Let's bring you down here. All these freaking forests, man, are taking forever for us to get over here. We actually found another barbarian encampment over here. Okay. Now, you do get era score for getting a Barbarian Encampment. I don't, I actually think it might not be bad for us to start and get a Dark Age to begin with. So, I'm not going to force it in, but if it happens, it happens. So, I'm okay with that. And then, I actually am going to go this way with you. And we're going to pretend that we didn't see that guy. And, let's keep you on the coast, because I kind of want to keep going this way. We got a boost towards the Irrigation, which is nice. We found a charitable village, and we got another plus one arrow score, so that's good. The more cities you have, the more expensive it is to actually get to no um, to avoid to Dark Ages. But it's only like plus one per, so it's not really that terrible. All right, let's send you out. Let's send you out. I can't actually upgrade you this turn. That's fine. You are almost ready to go. Um, Probably want to grab mining, because we could really use some builders. And... How much money? We're at 150. I'm actually really close to a builder, so I think instead... I think instead, let's go ahead and grab an early settler. And we do want to settle him up north a little bit. Now, this is the only downside, is this freaking scout is here. So I may have to use... <clears throat> one of our units to kill him? I don't know. Let's kind of keep him here and hopefully keep him away, if possible. So let's stick near the coast, and unfortunately, you can't go any further. Geneva's in an okay spot. Carthage, we still can't see everything over here, but they did see another civilization, remember, so. 68. So, your fights with Barbarian gives us bronze working boost. Okay, well that's not exactly what I wanted, but that's fine. I actually really wanted to upgrade him this turn, but that's okay. So we're slowing down a little bit from where we want to go. Let's keep going this way, keep going this way. We've got another goodie hut, nice. We spotted barbarians approaching, yeah, we got that. We got the tech boost, we got another uh, goodie hut. Sounds good. Our warrior is almost at full HP, now he is at full HP, so we're just going to put him right here next to Carthage. Um, the only unfortunate part is... It's gonna be kind of hard for us to get three archers over here. One, two, we can't really put three archers on the city. That's awkward. Let's upgrade you. We've got a boost towards machinery. Nice. Let's actually go here. If he goes there, then we can just come back. 
And essentially, we're just playing, we're just trying to keep him. Uh, hey, we got one free builder. That's awesome! It's actually freaking amazing for us. Uh, we can actually grab bananas. Oh, we don't have irrigation. Freaking heck, man. We can build a camp, though. We can actually build in pasture over there, too. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I should have gone for the pasture first. Uh, I wish I had irrigation. I just didn't realize I didn't have irrigation. So, all right, so we got another historical moment. <laughs> all we have so far is just basically goody huts. <laughs> uh, Carthage is popping out units. Not really too concerned. Ah, so many mountains here, man. Oh, this is awkward. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to actually get over here. We will move him. Probably move our units into position and then attack. I'm trying to think. If I declare war, all my units move out, correct? If I remember correctly, that's what, how it happens. So actually, I want to probably just beat you down a little bit. That's going to give us a little XP too. So that's fine. Uh, let's get you over here on the camp. Um, we have 123 gold. We needed 200 for a builder, so we're still a little bit of ways away on that. Next, we're going to keep sending you... Let's put you on the hill. Found another goody hut. Cool. Let's go next turn. We don't want too many cities. We basically need just enough cities for us to catch up. Oh my god. Alright. This is awkward. So we're moving all of our units away, which is a little on the awkward side. Let's actually just heal you up. And let's build the camp. And I might actually need to purchase a warrior here. 160 gold. We're not making crap for gold though right now. We've not even met another Civ, which is really kind of interesting, to be honest. <laughs> uh, okay. And then you got the gold at Giddy Hut. Dang it. I really wanted gold from that one. Did not want that. Like, Faith is by far the least one we wanted. Um, Faith isn't going to do crap for us because we're never going to be able to basically get a great... Who deserves more credit uh, than a, a, a great profit. Alright, so we can do mining now. Let's actually move you over here. Um, I think I'm going to keep fortifying you because he's not going to be able to kill you. Because he's crossing over the river. And he's probably doing more damage to himself than he is to me. Uh, the one thing we do really want is a builder. Or, sorry, a warrior. But... We're just waiting at this point. Let's go this way. That was not what we wanted to find. <laughs> now the question is, were you actually working this tile? I should have probably paid attention. Yeah, because all that gave us was extra gold. But we do need the gold right now, so I'm not going to complain about that. You actually do need the camp so you can grow quicker. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So let's get you up there in the pasture. Uh, astrology, I'm going to completely ignore. Bronze working word, you got the boost. Oh, they actually lowered your boost. Oh, it's because we're on higher difficulty levels, I think. Let's grab irrigation. These bananas are really good. Are we in position that we can declare war? Yeah, I was worried about that. Let's move you there. He's probably going to get a chance to attack me. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be okay. That wasn't as good as I wanted, but he immediately purchased another dude. That's the positive aspect. Can we squish him? No. But he will probably suicide into me, which I'm okay with. All right. So let's do this. Then there's something like here, something like here. I don't want to cross over the river. That's going to suck for us. So he's probably going to move out and come into this spot right there. And we're just going to need to double shoot him with the archers. And basically, I'm probably going to try killing his units off and then we'll go for him. So I think at this point, let's do craftsmanship. We should in 10 turns have three improvements, hopefully. We're four turns there, a couple turns there. I think our scout's gonna be okay. We're gonna skip your turn. We're able to maintain more trade routes, which is kind of unfortunate at this point. Um, we may, hmm, we could buy ourselves a trader, 180 gold. And that actually might be worth it for us. You are gonna go up here, cause screw that guy. We will probably grab that hut though, cause I need the gold. So they built Stonehenge. We did end up killing their warrior, which is what I wanted, 
And we're going to grab faster movement on hill terrain because there's a ton of freaking hills. All right, so that's exactly what I needed to happen. We're going to move you up to grab that guy. We're going to shoot you. We are going to shoot you. And then we're going to come squish you. It's across the water. We are going to do that, though. He's pretty hurt. Now, can they kill my warrior with these two guys? Maybe. Yeah, that might not have been smart, but we'll see. Okay, so we're going to move you there. It's just, it's such an awkward spot. We're going to actually skip your turn. Actually, you know what? Well, he could move out and attack me. We'll see if he moves out and attacks me. I hope he doesn't. That's what I was hoping would happen. He would suicide into that guy. Okay, so let's move you here. We are going to put you here. You do have it. I don't think he can kill my archer by crossing over. So it's a bit risky, but I don't think he can cross the water and kill my archer. And essentially that archer, I can immediately upgrade. So that's kind of why I decided to move with you. Um, we finished our first settler. I think we need to grab a first trader. And the question is, we really did want to come up here on the coast. So I kind of want to make sure we're okay up here real quick. Even though we have no units nearby. We got a boost towards military tradition, which didn't help me. I can't move you away, which sucks. Archer got a promotion. We got boost. And we got a plus one arrow score. What was that? Nope, they all look the same. All right, so he just produced a um, another warrior. We are going to give you plus five strength versus land units. We're going to shoot the city. We're going to shoot the city. We are going to actually heal you. Now, if he attacks my archer, are we going to have to run away at some point? Perhaps. Grab that. Let's cut him back off so he stays the freaking heck away. It's going to be a bit awkward because we're going to have a barbarian encampment right on our bo uh, border, but I think that's okay. Um, I think I would actually like to buy a warrior here. And we can come squish the barbarian encampment up here. We are currently building a trader, so yeah, let's buy a warrior. Now, unfortunately, we're not making crap for gold per turn. So... We've also not met another freaking Civ yet. What the actual heck? Also, we should probably call this... Now we're at 22 minutes. We're good. Thousands have lived. Yeah, he has a ton of freaking... Now, here's the great thing about this. He really can't hit my archers with all his units. They're kind of dead weight right now. Um, We're just going to keep shooting it. Probably when he starts beating me down too much, then we're going to have to swap out our archers. I think that'll be fine. Uh, bronze working. We allow, we can, it reveals iron, which might be really good for us early game. Especially if we can switch you up to a swordsman. Writing, we don't have boosted yet. We are about to get sailing. There are clams up there. do want to protect you with yeah yeah I think I want to do sailing because we want to because we're about to find the coast on the city so okay surely we can find another civilization here eventually <laughs> surely we did get irrigation so we can now grab those bananas is this guy actually gaining HP I feel like he's not gaining HP quick enough all right so we're gonna swap you two which unfortunately means I don't really get to shoot this turn. And we're just going to keep you healing. And who actually has the promotion? I think you do, don't you? It says this guy. Yeah, it says him. So that's actually good. So we can once again ignore the warrior, keep shooting at the city, and then just promote him. You still need a little bit for a promotion, so that's not going to happen. Let's move you out. He's not going to be able to attack me here, so I think we're good doing that. The archer's in for promotion. You're going to keep coming this direction. We're going to keep going like that. There were other civs here, right? So City State did get killed. Which, yeah. You met the representative of Kumasi? 
Umasi? Hmm. All right, culture city state. Let's come around this direction. Just kind of get a little more land. Uh, we got civic boosted for political philosophy. Cool. Um, they want a trade route and archer units available for promotion. That guy. All right. I think let's heal you up first. And you actually are probonable. So we're going to do something like that. And we're just going to keep shooting the city down. Uh, it's taking longer than I had hoped. But here's the thing. So he's going to suicide into me. I'm probably going to be in the red at that point. Which means I'm going to have to use my promotion. But I think we're still in a great spot. I'm going to put you here. I'm actually going to put you here. Let's actually link you guys. That's fine. Then they actually have uh, warriors there, but we're okay with that. Archer units available for promotion. You're fine. We do need to start attacking the city, though. Okay, exactly what I thought was going to happen. God, Carthage is gaining more HP. Then I can actually shoot it down right now. <laughs> uh. Let's actually have you... We're going to have him heal one more turn. And both these guys are just going to basically not attack this turn. The next turn, we're going to attack with all three again. So, we will go ahead and grab the irrigation. We do have our first trade route. Send it to Geneva for three gold and one science. I don't think we're going to do that. Instead, I think we're going to send it as an internal trade route here. After we found our city. We're going to move in and actually come kill this guy. Something like that. And let's go ahead and heal. Alright, so then our second, or our first city... Um, hanging gardens, yeah, I wish. Um, I think I'm gonna grab another archer, because we are gonna get probably a war declared on us before too long. And then our second city, I think we should grab a builder for Granary doesn't do much for me at this point in the game. It grows it a little quicker, but that doesn't help me all that much. But I think we're gonna actually grab a builder, because there's some good, decent tiles surrounding him. We really need to look at getting an industrial zone here pretty quickly. And a builder is going to allow me to grab clams, which is going to be nice. And then we're going to actually send you as an internal trader out, please. And then we'll have the roads between our two cities. Uh, our scout, let's bring him across the water and we're going to come explore down over there. Uh, tech boosted for sailing. We also got tech boosted for currency. Sweet. All right. Well, we are going to wrap up our first episode here. Things are going pretty freaking well for a Mar Mapuche. Um, we got our second city down, which is good. We are about to take the city state, which is going to be our third city. Well, at least we should be able to take it next episode. Um, and we still have some barbarians on our gates, but for the most part, we're okay. We are still kind of looking at a dark age, but once again, I think I'm okay with that. But anyways... Brand new series, any support you guys can offer does wonders for it. If you guys um, have any comments for me, any suggestions, drop a comment. Let me know um, what you think I should be doing instead. And then as always, uh, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, show your support. I'll see you guys later. Bye.